guy doesn't notice us, there's no place I'd rather be. Well, let's see. What shall we watch? A 23-hour documentary on how some TV shows are too long, a rerun of a repeat of an encore presentation of an old program we didn't watch in the first place. Here's a travel log about a new tourist attraction dedicated to cheese. Cheese? Uh, turn to Channel 9, Garfield. Huh? <laughs> Welcome to this tour of my greatest new enterprise. That's right, it's me, Eddie Gourmand. And today we visit the world's greatest new amusement park, Eddie Gourmand, to the Cheese Land. I built this because everybody loves cheese. So here, the rides are, uh-huh, you got it, made of cheese. The buildings are cheese. The windows in the buildings are cheese. Even the cheese pizza actually contains cheese! Well, that's a novelty. We have cheeseburgers, cheese sandwiches, cheese dainies, cheese uh -huh. burgers, cheese without crackers! <laughs> so plan yourself a cheesy vacation and come to Eddie Gourmand's Cheese Land! That's Eddie Gourmand's Cheese Land. Open seven days a week, no mice allowed. Oh, gee, I have a strange urge for a piece of cheese. <laughs> Garfield, old pal, old friend, you gotta take us there. To Cheeseland? You heard the man, no mice allowed. That's why you've gotta take us there. You're smart enough to sneak us in. Oh, no way. You wanna go there, you figure a way in. I'm not gonna go help you sneak into Cheeseland. Garfield, I just went into the kitchen and got a piece of cheese. Uh, what's wrong with that? This was attached to it. Can we please go to Cheeseland? This whole house is full of mice again. It's your job to get rid of them. This is where John always threatens to withhold my lasagna privileges. Can we please go to Cheeseland? And if you don't get rid of them right away, no lasagna for the rest of this decade! It's a cheap, constant threat, which is not to say that it doesn't always work. Can we please go to Cheeseland? You want us to leave, Garfield? Take us to Cheeseland. Will it get you out of here if I do stuff like this? Snarl. Whoa, where'd that come from? Nope. Can we please go to Cheeseland? <sighs> okay, let's go. Now listen and listen good, cat. I've hired you to keep mice out of my cheese land. Now if you let one mouse, rat, or rodent get in, or anything furry, you're fired. No problem, Mr. Gourmand. I'm on the job. You won't see any mice here. You better not. I got a great job here, and I don't want to lose it. I have too many problems. Business is terrible. I thought people love cheese. I don't know what's going on. Ah! Oh. Oh! 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 Hey, Garfield. Oh, it's you, Harry. Fancy meeting you here. Isn't it a little hot for an overcoat? Oh, no, no. I'm uh, very cool. Cool I am. It's 89 degrees. Oh, that cold. Gosh, I should have brought a scarf. Well, see you later, Harry. Huh? Hey! Uh, Garfield, you wouldn't happen to have any mice in that overcoat. Mice? Oh, why would I have mice in my overcoat? You're too funny. Uh, there's no mice in here. Shut up, Humphrey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. A 
Are we in? Is this cheese land? Not quite. You promised to get us inside. And I will. I have another idea. Buongiorno! I am here to deliver more of Vito's phenomenal cheese pizzas to add to the cheese glory of cheese land. Yeah! Grazie, my little pussycato. Ah, uh, monsieur, uh, Vito forgot to leave these pizzas here. You know the way, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at these pizzas. <laughs> There's a great topping. You didn't order the mouse pizza? Scoop. Garfield, you promised. I know, I know. <laughs> You sure about this, Garfield? No, but we're already up here. I think we're gonna make it. Oh my, I think we're not gonna make it. I think we're not gonna make it. I was right, we didn't make it. Squeak, if you're gonna hold me to my promises, I'm gonna stop making them. Can we please go to Cheese Land? We're, We're going, going to Cheese Land! We're going to Cheese Land! We're going to Cheese Land! Looks like I did a pretty good job keeping mice out of here. Harry, look out! The mice are trying to get in. Oh no! Oh, you I. Hey. I'm chasing them out of here. Thanks, Garfield. You just saved me the trouble of... You need to go to cheese land? Really? Hey, you come back here! seen in my whole life. Come on, guys. Let's eat it. Try it. Mmm, cheddar. Oh, no! Here comes the cat! Garfield, I'll get you for this! Come on, Squeak. He's gonna get me for this. I wanna taste that building over there. Looks like camembert. Later. Nice going, Garfield. We lost him. Yeah, but uh, what's that terrible smell? It's it's the walls. This place is made out of Limburger. Oh no! Let me out! <laughs> You're gonna cost me my job, Garfield. I gotta get out of this place. except mice, and they don't have any money. Very little. Too many people these days are lactose intolerant. 
Excuse me, are you Eddie Gourmand, owner of Eddie Gourmand's Cheeseland? I am, why? I represent a company that builds huge shopping malls in areas that already have too many of them. We'd like to buy this land and build one. Oh, you want to buy my land? Indeed. We'll pay you more than you paid to build cheese land. Well, it's a deal. On the condition that you clear all these cheesy buildings off the land. I'll be back later with a contract. <sighs> I'm saved. I'll even make a profit. I just have to figure out how to get rid of these buildings. Hey, Garfield. That's a fine idea. Tell your boss we'll clear the land for him. Only if I can help. Hey, Mr. Gourmand says he's gonna get me a job at the new mall. Oh, great. Another piece of gorgonzola roof, Garfield? Oh, no thanks. I'm just finishing off some of the Gouda flooring. And see that three-story building? I'm just trying to figure out how to grill it between two big slices of bread. Ah. Maybe I'll just melt it down and have the world's biggest fondue. by no less than 15 years in a maximum security prison. Or at least it should be. All right, I'm up. Let's see who's too stupid to not be sleeping at this hour. Oh, it's you, Harry. What are you looking for? Leftovers. In this house? Nothing is left over. So I see. What I really had my appetite set on was that nice, plump, juicy bluebird. Mmm, does that look like good eating? But I'll bet you've had your eye on that one for a while, right? Not right. I never chase any bird smaller than a roast turkey with stuffing, mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, and that cream corn that John's mother made. What? No bird chasing? I gave it up. Too much work, too many feathers, not enough drumsticks. Then, uh, do you mind? Be my guest. Bluebird pie, here I come. <laughs> you win this round, bird, but I'll get you next time. Trash cans over on Maple Drive will have leftovers. Chasing birds. Looks like fun. But I'm not going to get back into that again. My chasing bird days are behind me. Oh no! They're ahead of me! I must chase birds! Okay, if you were a cat, you'd understand. <laughs> The hunt is on! It's going over to the neighbor's yard. It won't get away from me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Do 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 do. That bird can't get away from me. I'll just wait here until she comes back, and then I'll catch her. She has to come back. She left her eggs here. Funny today. I just gotta wait here. No matter how long it takes. She shouldn't leave her eggs alone this long. Not with creatures like me about. What's wrong with that mother bird? Leaving her eggs alone all day? She kinda cold. I don't think that's good for them. Oh well. Not my problem. I'll chase her tomorrow if she comes back. She has to come back. She has to take care of those cute little eggs. The female bluebird lays a clutch of three to five... Hi, Garfield. I'm watching a very interesting documentary. Anything about feeding your cat? It's all about birds hatching eggs. The incubation process in which the female sits on the eggs to keep them warm takes around two weeks. It's not that warm out there. If the heat is not maintained, the eggs will perish. Perish? Oh, well. Like I keep telling myself, it's not my problem. <sighs> oh, I think I'll just get me a little sleep. Perish? Maybe I'll just make sure the mother bluebird has come back to sit on the eggs. I'm sure she has. She hasn't. Oh, this is not good. Maybe a muffler or a heating pad. I wonder if there's a place up here to plug in an electric blanket. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Okay, but don't tell anyone I did this. There you go. Keep warm the legs. It's just until the mother bluebird comes back. She'll be back any minute. Any minute. another one being born. And this one. <laughs> I'm a mother. What am I thinking? No, no, no. I'm, I'm not your mama. Wait, stop it. I'm not your mama. I'm a cat. Honest. I am. Here, listen to this. Meow. Meow. See? I hate to abandon the little fellows, but I don't know anything about taking care of baby birds. No, not Mama. Why are you unclear on this concept? Oh, good time for a nap. It's always a good time for a nap. Mama. 
Stay with me, fellas. And my water dish is not a bird bath. I don't care what you say. You can't live with me. And stop calling me Mama. Now you're going to stay there, and that is an order. Don't look at me like that. I can't take care of you guys. You need someone who can teach you how to fly. I can't do that. You need someone who can share worms with you for lunch. I really can't do that. I'm not gonna look at him anymore. Your real mother will be back sooner or later. Now goodbye. Bye-bye, bluebirds. They'll be just fine. What if the mother bird never comes back? They could be cold. They could be hungry. They could be Harry's lunch. My babies! Hey, hold it down, little guys. I'm gonna be eating. Let me have those birds, Harry. Get your own lunch, Garfield. I said let me have those birds. Hey, that's my meal. I saw it. Those birds are mine, Garfield! You can't get away from me, Garfield. I'm faster and I'm stronger! He's right. He is. I need a place to hide them. That's not fair, Garfield. I don't eat your lasagna. You could leave my bluebird! Oh, big mistake. Now I'm trapped. Big mistake. Now you're trapped. I said that. Ah! Ouch! Stop! Don't hurt him. Oh, me! Don't hurt any of us. Now, finally, it's lunchtime. No! care of them. <laughs> Not me, guys. That's your mama. Mama? Mama! <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, guys. Come visit. Okay, so I saved some birds. You didn't see that, okay? I know where you live. back until you learn to stop waking me up. Morning, Garfield. Morning, Squeak. Whoever invented the alarm clock should be dragged into the street and beaten. Hi again, Garfield. Hi again, Squeak. No, it's too good for him. Instead, they should make him sleep with an alarm clock nearby. Hi one more time, Garfield. Hi one more time, Squeak. Getting an awful lot of squeak this morning. I'll figure out what's going on after breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> 
make that after lunch. <laughs> in progress. Oh well, it's not my problem. <laughs> this is my problem. Squeak! You squeak? <clears throat> Look at what's in my dish. There's nothing in your dish. My point exactly. Please, Garfield, old pal, old friend, please be understanding. You ate my breakfast. All these mice, my cousins and uncles and nephews, they had no place else to go. <laughs> they all lived in that big house down the block that just got torn down. You ate my breakfast. I couldn't just turn them away. I couldn't just send them out into the cold, cruel snow. It's 92 degrees outside, and you still ate my breakfast. Look, Garfield, if you let us stay, we'll behave. We can help out, do things for you, <laughs> be your servants. Servants? Servants would be nice. From now on, I'd like my grapes peeled. Peeled? <laughs> peeled. And uh, take out the seeds? The uh, seeds? Oh. Uh, this is the life. But I don't think I could take any more than, oh, say about 20, 30 years of it. <laughs> or maybe 20 or 30 seconds. Quick, everyone, hide. Run, scream. Garfield, oh. we're back. <sighs> Unfortunately. What's the matter? If John finds out the house is full of mice, he'll expect me to... Oh, got it! Oh, <gasps> there you are, Garfield. Looks like everything's been peaceful while we were away. Yeah, sure looks that way. <laughs> hey, have that thing sanitized for my protection. Huh? When I'm away, I always feel secure knowing you are watching the house, Garfield. I feel good when you're away, too. I know there won't be any intruders or accidents or mice, especially mice. Nope, you're not smelling a mouse. There isn't a mouse within 20 miles of here. Get your nose fixed. All that walking around Odie and I did, I just kept thinking how good it would be to get home and just to relax in my home here. Knowing it's free from mice. Because as you know, there's nothing that bothers me more than mice in my house. First, something to eat. It was rough under there. I was just going Oh. Maybe later we'll order in from Lasagna Palace and then. Garfield? Is that a mouse? Mouse? What mouse? In your hand, that is a mouse. Eh? Wait, this? Oh, make like you're a toy. <laughs> oh no, this is a happy fun kitty toy thingy, Mabob. Oh, it's just a kitty toy thingy, Mabob. Squeak, squeak. Well, I guess it's cute. I need to get something to eat. <laughs> uh -oh. Garfield said we should hide. Oh. <gasps> oh. Garfield, did you eat all my crackers? Oh, we better get out of here. What are you going to do about this? I have mice in my cupboard! <laughs> I have mice in my silverware drawer! I even have mice! 
mice in my sink. Uh, do you mind? I'm taking a bath here. Go, me! Mice everywhere. How did that happen? I had no idea. Well, I have to go water my ferns. No, you don't. Come with me. I saw this website a few weeks ago and bookmarked it. It's for a service called Rat Tater Pest. Rat Tater Pest? Pay attention. Uh, couldn't we go to one of those websites where you can order pizza delivered? Mouse problem in your house? Then why not call Rat Tater Pest? Our trade specialists will rush to your home where they can stop at nothing. <laughs> the mouse or rat hasn't lived who can defy the might of Rat Tater Pest. <laughs> they can run, they can hide like the rodents they are, but they can never get away! <laughs> Rat Tater Pest, a mouse's worst nightmare. Click here to order our service. I'm not going to click. Now. Because they're expensive and getting rid of mice is your job. I mean, you are the cat around here. Yeah. You are going to get rid of these mice. Every last one of them. Uh. <laughs> I'm going out for a while. Come on, Odie. If there's a single mouse here when I get back, I'm calling in Rat Tater Pest. And I'm deducting the cost of them from my cat food budget. You won't see lasagna in this house for years. For years? The barbarian. Why doesn't he just cut off my oxygen? <laughs> Guys, you gotta leave here. Guys, guys, you Calling all mice. Calling all mice. Freak. Hey, now that once his name is gone, we have the house to ourselves. No, 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 you gotta leave. All of you, right this minute, if not sooner. No, wait, this is our new home. <laughs> You think we're gonna run from that? Are the cats scare mice? Are the cats eat mice? You gonna start eating mice, Garfield? <sighs> the very idea of it. Then it looks like we're here to stay. It's no use. It's not in my blood. What are we gonna do? I'll lose my lasagna for at least a year. John will call that horrible ratator pest. Oh, that service thing on the internet, that terrible ratator pest. I know. Come on, Squeak. I have to show you something. Hey, I was making a sandwich. Later, this is more important. Click here to order our service. This is awful. Garfield, you wouldn't. You're right, I wouldn't. But John would and will. Unless. Unless what? Unless you go along with my plan. Anything, anything. Get all the mice together. We're gonna have to rehearse before John returns. Garfield, we're back! Are the mice gone yet? Okay, I guess the mice aren't gone yet. That's it! I'm calling Rat Tater Pest! handled that so well. Well, naturally. I feel like you deserve a reward, but I have no idea what it should be. Oh, Luigi's Lasagna Palace we deliver. Good idea, Garfield. I'll call and have them deliver hot lasagna. Yeah, you do that again and you'll wind up in the bag with them. <laughs> Lasagna's here! Garfield! Hurry, everyone in. Thanks for everything, Garfield. Don't mention it. I hope you're happy living at Luigi's. How could we not be? All the lasagna we can eat. See ya! <laughs> All the lasagna they can eat. Garfield! Lasagna!
Hmm, funny. That usually gets him here in under three seconds. Oh, Luigi! Luigi, where are you? Oh, there you are, Luigi. You have to do something. You have to call an exterminator to get rid of this mice. Never mind the mice. I need an exterminator to get rid of him. <laughs> I think I'm going to like it here. Something baked and terrific. Oh. John is baking pies. No bread, no cake, no pies. Be oh, bread and cake and pies. <laughs> no, maybe muffins. <laughs> muffins, tarts, rolls, maybe cookies. I'm baking dough balls, Garfield. Maybe Danish, maybe prune Danish, maybe dough balls. We're driving to the cove to go fishing today. Dough balls make great bait to catch fish. <laughs> Yuck. What a cool thing to do to a fish. Hi, Pupster. Going fishing with John? No, not me. You won't catch me out in that leaky boat of his getting seasick. <laughs> I know, no, no, I don't care about the beautiful scenery. The only beautiful scenery I want to see is right here. If you're looking for food, Garfield, I packed everything to take on the fishing trip. <laughs> ah, fishing. The most glorious sport in all the world. Ah, fishing. The most glorious sport in all the world. Nah, I don't care about the fish, but I'll do anything for lunch. The water's so peaceful in this little cove. You know, guys, catching fish isn't the important part. It's the peace and the serenity and just being out in nature that matters. Fishermen always say that when they've been out three hours and haven't caught so much as a sardine. I don't care if I catch a fish. It doesn't matter to me one bit if I catch... <laughs> a fish! I got a fish on my line! I did it! I did it! John did it! John did it! Alert the media. Hey, there he is! Oh, he's a beaut! He's an hors d'oeuvre. There we go. I knew my dough balls were the perfect bait. I'll put an even bigger one on and catch a bigger fish. Surrounded by water. Try some.
looking for dinner. Hey, there's something. Yeah, a dough ball. No fish in its right mind would bite onto one of those things. One, Mama's favorite food. Oh! Mama will be so happy with this worm. Mama, Mama, look what I brought ya! Julia, you can't keep a dog down here. A dog? Oh, that's funny. I thought he was a boy. <laughs> What's wrong with him, Mama? He's a dog, Julia. He needs air. Oh, well, uh, where can he get them? Hi, Mom. Hi, Junior. Hey, I know that dog. He needs air. He sure does. Hey, Bernie. Bernie Blowfish. That dog, he saved my life a little while ago. Now we gotta save his. You're full of air. Sure thing, Red. I'll give him one of my big, beautiful bubbles. <laughs> Where's Odie? Odie? <laughs> That's funny. We're out in the middle of the cove and there's no sign of him. I guess he fell overboard. Fell overboard? Odie! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to do my one heroic deed for the year. Huh? Odie! Odie! Where are you? He must be a goner. He couldn't breathe down here. Thanks again for throwing me back, dog. There's an orange cat running out of that ruined egg. Friend of yours, dog? Yeah. Come on! <laughs> Your friend here saved my life. Would you like a little tour of the bottom of the cove? Oh, yeah, sure. We really like it down here. It's wet, but it's home. Well, it looks like fresh out. This is the main underwater thoroughfare. And there's our traffic cop. Does he ever give out traffic tickets? Uh, only when he catches someone swimming over the speed limit. This is one of those new fast food places that are popping up. They have a swim through window. Anything tasty to eat? I'm famished. Uh -uh. Would you like a worm to go? I'm not that famished. That reminds me. I promised to find Mama a worm. Uh, see you later. The seahorses are at the starting gate. The track looks fast, but a little wet. Well, it looks like some sort of uh, racetrack. It is, and it looks like a race is just about to start.
I caught another fish? out of the coat and into the ocean. You saved us, again. How can we show our appreciation? Well, the air's getting a little thin in here, so if you don't mind. Certainly, Barney. At your service. Going up. Wow. They must have gotten knocked overboard along with most of my gear. Oh, no. No. They were such wonderful friends. Uh -huh. So cute. So adorable. <clears throat> Don't try to cheer me up, Garfield and Odie. I'm missing Garfield and Odie. Three, two, one. Garfield! Odie! You're safe! You're safe! Not if you keep hugging us like that. Let's celebrate. <laughs> we'll have lunch. Except that there's no lunch. We're stuck here until somebody comes by and rescues us. Stuck out here with nothing to eat? In the meantime, uh, no ball? Uh, no thanks. I've seen what those things do to fish. Bye. Don't worry. Someone will be along soon. I'm sorry all we have to eat are these... dough balls. Ugh. Yeah, real sorry. Uh, could you pass some mustard, Odie? Garfield, but Liz's parents are coming over soon and everything needs to be perfect. Oh, I can't greet them like this. What kind of a first impression would that make? Oh. An honest one? I know Liz's parents will be watching me like a hawk and analyzing my every move. John, I think a walrus threw up on your shirt. <laughs> Red dogs don't beg. You can't. <laughs> Odie, I just got through mopping that floor. <sighs> I'll deal with it later. Now, where is that expensive caviar I bought? <laughs> All right, listen to me, you two. My future with Liz is at stake. When her parents get here, I expect you both to be on your best behavior. <laughs> And to make sure that happens, there's a little reward in store for you. Whichever one of you two makes the most effort to make a good impression will get a special treat. <laughs> Odie, go fetch the grooming brush. I'm going to give you two a little makeover before our guests arrive. <laughs> no way. I'd rather cough up a giant hairball than share a brush with that mangy flea bag. I'll do my own grooming, thank you. Have it your way, Garfield. But Odie just scored a point in the effort category. Good boy, Odie. Good boy. What a suck up. I think I'll uh, fit in a little beauty sleep before the guests arrive. Oh, 
paws off me. Oh. Down, boy. I said get down. What in the world is going on out here? I'll tell you what. That maniac dog of yours pounced on us. You should have him on a leash if he can't behave. Odie, bad boy. I am so sorry about that. Please, please, come in. We'll get all of you cleaned up inside. That goes for you too, Odie. <laughs> Hi, John. Nice shirt. Minus one for Odie. That reward is mine. He doesn't usually jump on guests like that. He, uh, he must have been really excited to meet you. Speaking of which, you haven't been properly introduced. Mom, Dad, this is John. John, these are my parents. Hi, I'm Mrs. Wilson, but you can call me Daddy. And I'm Mr. Wilson. Ha <laughs> Um, <laughs> nice to meet you. <clears throat> I, uh, I believe you're already well acquainted with my dog, Odie. <laughs> and that's Garfield, my cat. Why, that's a fat cat. Liz, dear, you really should put that cat on a diet. Oh, it's a pleasure meeting you, too. You've got a nice place here, John. But I must say, this house needs a woman's touch. I don't know about the house, but John certainly does. That being said, an extra hand in the kitchen wouldn't hurt. So, John. Liz tells us you're a cartoonist. That's right. I uh... personally, I've always been for solid, respectable careers. None of that fancy schmancy stuff. I'm a tax auditor myself. That would have been my second guess after Undertaker. Bad boy, Odie. <laughs> Very well behaved. Minus two for Odie. No. Lord, come to Papa. Raising pets is like raising children. It requires a great deal of discipline. Do you plan on having children one day, John? Dad! Speaking of children, I haven't introduced you to my son yet, John. Your son? Uh, Liz didn't mention she had a brother. John, this is Petey, my pride and joy. <laughs> I raised and nurtured him ever since he was a baby. I can trust your pets with him, can't I? Uh, oh, sure. Uh, no problem. <laughs> because if any harm came to him, I, I, I just don't know what I'd do. But it breaks my heart to keep him cooped up in a cage. So she coops us up instead. She spends her time closing windows. And you spend it opening them. He's always saying it's stuffy. Isn't he the smartest, cutest little thing? <laughs> he's the son I never had. I would have said plump and juicy, and he's going to be the orders I'm going to have. Yes. Try it. See what happens. It'll be the most fun I've had in ages. Trust me. Hey, they went through a lot of trouble chasing you, so humor me. Fight, struggle, beg, plead. Oh, please, Mr. Cat, don't eat me. There is that exciting enough for you? Oh, you're going to have to do better than that. <laughs> Warning you, Garfield, if I catch you with that bird again, you can forget the reward. And no TV for a no, month. Stop. I wouldn't gloat if I were you. I may be minus one, but you're minus two. Ah, forget that insipid sack of feathers. It's like trying to get an adrenaline rush from a slice of plain white bread. Animate pre-slice cold cuts are a hundred times more exciting. Please, please, <gasps> please, Mr. Cat, eat me. Come on. I know you want to. Just do it, please. Hey, you're supposed to beg me not to eat you, Dodo. But I must admit, you're slightly more tempting in sandwich form. What's taking so long? Hurry up! Well, if you insist. 
Petey? Oh, look. We're all out of hors d'oeuvres. Why don't I go into the kitchen and get us some more, huh? Oh, I see you've made yourself a nice... Morning, Garfield. If anything happens to that bird, I'll put you on a diet of bread and water for life. Oh. I need to get as far away as possible from that psycho bird. Petey. Petey, where are you? Come to Mama. It's not like him. He never leaves my side for long. Don't worry, Mom. He couldn't have gone far. Yeah. It's not like this house is a mansion. Uh, maybe he went upstairs. We can go have a look if you want. Oh. Ah, perfect. That should keep me out of trouble until the guests leave. It's a cruel, cold world out there, full of mean, hungry cats, not pushovers like me. I'll take my chances. You have to fend for yourself. And, and, and when you're sick, no one will make chicken soup for you. Birds don't eat chicken soup. Ah, oh, right, okay. Well, what about Betty? She'll be devastated. She raised and nurtured you. Smothered me, you mean. I've been wanting to break free from day one. And thanks to you, I finally did. I'm free as a bird. Farewell, Garfield. No, 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 no. Maybe it's for the best, Mom. How many times have you brought him into the clinic because he banged into a closet window, huh? He'll be happier out there. I'll be honest with you, Arbuckle. I didn't like you the minute I saw you, after what your cat just did. I know, it's unforgivable. It's... it's... it's a miracle! A darn bird was the bane of my existence. Heck, I've been trying to get rid of him for ages. And thanks to that cat of yours, he's gone for good! From now on, John, you're part of the family. Wow, I... I don't know what to say. Thank you, Mr... uh... Bob? Mr. Wilson. Don't push your luck. <laughs> Garfield? Oh, I might as well get it over with. It's time to face my fate with dignity. Bag. Oh, merciful, merciful John. Take pity on me. Oh, please. Garfield, where have you been all afternoon? Your reward is getting cold. My reward? Ta-da! You earned it, Garfield. Thanks to you, I'm on Mr. Wilson's good side now. As it turns out, Liz's father couldn't stand that canary, and you did him a huge favor by letting him escape. Oh, Mr. Wilson, a man after my own heart.
Garfield, I'm impressed. I didn't think you liked educational programs, and yet here you are. Fascinated by one and unable to take your eyes off the set. Fish. Beautiful, delicious fish. Halibut can grow as large as 900 pounds like this one. Give me that fish. Give me that fish in an equal weight of french fries. I'll get it. I must have seafood. I crave seafood. I need seafood. Oh! Oh! Hi, Liz. <laughs> huh? Captain Barnacle's Ocean Treat Doggy Delight. Uh -uh. This is not seafood. This is a can. Coyote, a can. Put it in the water. See if it swims. Your fish? In this house? Fish? Did he say fish? He said fish. The man said fish. I heard him say fish. It's just while I'm out of town visiting my mother. I need someone to take care of them. I don't think that would be such a good idea, Liz. Why not? Well, for one thing, Garfield's putting out tartar sauce and lemons. Should I bread them? Fry them? Scampi is so delicious. Come on, John. You can get Garfield to behave himself. I'll bring my fish over in the morning. If you say so, Liz. Bye. Garfield! Liz is leaving her pet fish here while she's out of town. We'll leave them alone, or else. Have no fear, Arbuckle. I'll behave. I won't eat Liz's fish. I'll treat them with total respect. Not now, Odie. Can't you see I'm busy lying through my teeth? I'm having trouble sleeping. Maybe I'll try counting sheep. One, two, three, four. This isn't working. I know. One, two, three. Ah, four. This is so much better. I didn't know you owned so many fish, Liz. Ooh, it's been a hobby of mine for years. Three schools are enough for me. <sighs> I would like some more trout, though. <laughs> Sounds like fish. seen in my life. See you in a week. Have a good trip, and don't worry about your fish. I had a long talk with Garfield, and I have every confidence he'll leave them alone. <laughs> I've got to stop Garfield from eating all our fish. Now, would you be a better appetizer or a main course? You look more like a side dish. And you're kind of sweet looking. I'll save you for dessert. You will not lay a paw on Liz's fish. Of course not. That's why I have a net. Do not touch the fish. Do you hear me? Do not touch the fish. If you harm so much as a fin on any of them, you'll never see lasagna in this house again. Gee, he sounds like he means it. All right, then. I can control myself. I will leave this room and not come back with a fisher here. <sighs> Five seconds. That's three seconds longer than I thought I'd last. You'll do for a start. Mm, not bad. Hey! I didn't think one little fish could be so fattening. The kind that swells up. Help! Somebody help me! Or put me in a parade or something! I better watch what I eat. I don't know what kind of fish you are, but you look very tasty. 
fish, similar to electric eel. Okay, it's seafood I want, and it's seafood I'm gonna get. I need a menu. Ugh. Canadian spritzer fish, wonder what he does. Okay, now we know what a Canadian spritzer fish does. Australian seltzer fish. Let's see what it says about the Australian seltzer fish. Huh? The Australian seltzer fish is a close relative of the Canadian spritzer fish. They should have known. All right, your turn, Greenie. <laughs> Let's see what you are. Huh, here you are. Japanese judo fish. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah? We won't laugh at this. Hey, he wasn't bad. Let's see what he is. Or, uh, was. The flying fish of Framistan. Help! 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 No, don't worry, Liz. Garfield isn't bothering your fish. In fact, I just saw him flying by. <laughs> flying by! <laughs> somehow learned to breathe underwater. Garfield the cat is accused of eating fish. Hey. Garfield cat, how do you play? Well, maybe I ate a few fish. 7,322 fish. Well, that's not a lot. I mean, some of them were minnows and shrimp. You, you fish eater, you. Yes, yes, I admit it. I ate the fish. I ate a lot of fish. I even ate fish with chips. Fish with chips and malt vinegar. If I spare your life, will you promise never to eat another fish? I said, if I spare your life, will you promise never to eat another fish? I'm thinking it over. I've heard enough. Jury, what do you say? Guilty! Garfield Cat, you have been found guilty by a jury of your dinner. I hereby sentence you to Larry. Larry? 
who's Larry? He's Larry! <laughs> them right on the table here. Do you think two goldfish are safe in the house where Garfield lives? Sure! Garfield won't bother them. Come on, let me show you what I'm working on in my studio. She only has two goldfish? <laughs> Pretty cute goldfish. Well, it's time for breakfast. Time to make a sandwich. Mmm, tartar sauce sandwich. Delicious. Come on. You didn't really think I was gonna eat Liz's goldfish, did you? That's too rotten even for me. In fact, I'm giving up eating fish altogether. After that dream, I'll never eat another fish again. Until next week. <laughs>